hello welcome back so i will be continuing with the same topic effective written communication so in the first video i had explained you uh, regarding the structure and now i'm going to explain you uh, style what is style so style is the second element and what is style the way you write down your message the way you note the way you pen down your letter or your application or your um, circular or report anything okay it should be neat and clean so i am sure all of you have heard this in your school you must write in neat and clean and beautiful handwriting and this is something that you need to follow all your life nowadays of course we uh, most of the time we type we use our mobile phones laptops to share messages to share information via email etc but sometimes you also uh, have to write certain things so whenever you're writing it especially when you are uh, you know uh, uh, writing it with a pen so when you write it it must be neat and clean and beautiful handwritten notes should be should look beautiful it should be neat and clean all right it should be concise and you must use the exact words as i had already said in the previous video that in written mode of communication it is only the words the, to uh, the communication is totally dependent on the words so that is why you have to be very very careful regarding what words you are using so you have to use the correct words and in that way the other person will be able to understand it do not make the sentences long how will you make the sentences short a sentence should contain just one idea okay do not include two three ideas in just one sentence you can again write down another sentence for your next idea for one idea you should always write one sentence in that way you can make your sentence shorter you can make your sentences shorter avoid short forms when you write and communicate avoid short forms especially in case of formal communication especially when you are uh, communicating uh, with somebody uh, who is from your office when you are having a professional conversation when you are having a communication related to your profession or to your career whenever you are having an official conversation or whenever you are having a formal conversation so whenever you are communicating you must make sure that you are not using any kind of short forms because the other person might not understand the short form also understand the reader understand the reader and accordingly you have to write it down if you are writing uh, a letter suppose you are writing a letter to a um, 15 year old 15 years old at the same time you are also writing a letter to a 35 years old who is working in an organization and 15 years old he is studying in a school both the letters will be different from one another because you cannot use the same words you cannot use the same emotion when you write it has to be different so you have to write according to your readers so that your readers can understand you you have to check whether the points whether the bullet points are appropriate or not whether the points that you have highlighted are appropriate or not you must use familiar words rather than complex words 
if you use complex words the other person won't be able to understand it might not be able to understand it so you have to uh, be careful regarding the usage of the words so you have to use uh, familiar words short concrete and familiar words so this is all about the style in the next video i will be explaining you regarding the content